Have you ever owned a pair of headphones that you absolutely loved? You enjoy listening to music with them, and you might also like watching your favorite movies with them too. And perhaps you might want to use them as a gaming headset, but can't because they don't have a built-in microphone like other gaming headsets do. Gaming headsets offer a good two-in-one solution, so why not just buy one of those? Not so fast. While gaming headsets are convenient in the sense that they provide audio and allow for microphone input, they usually have cheap build quality, their audio quality is worse than a quality pair of headphones at similar price ranges, and sometimes they just come with the most awful mics. These are my Philips SHP 9500s. I've owned these headphones for over two years now and use them as my daily driver on my PC. They're my favorite pair of headphones which I use to watch videos with, listen to music, edit audio during video production, and also use them for my gaming needs. They sound fantastic, offer a good soundstage, and the audio signature suits my preferences just right. But I would have to use a standalone microphone to fulfill my communication and VoIP requirements. I would have loved to see a headset version of the SHP 9500s or something similar. Unfortunately, those do not exist. So then what's the solution you might ask? Well, that is where Vmoda comes in with their Boom Pro microphone. This is just the solution I was looking for. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Vmoda for sending this product to me so I can bring you guys this review. Now while they did send me this sample to review, everything that I say in this video is 100% my own opinion. Before we get into the review, let's start off with a quick unboxing so I can show you guys what you'll be getting inside the box. The microphone comes in a fairly small box and there's not a lot to be said here about the packaging. At the front you have a picture of the microphone with the company's brand. At the back, you have some information regarding features, specifications, and applicable scenarios. Nothing too fancy here, but it does the job, and I guess that's all that matters in the end. Opening the box, you get a start guide and the microphone itself, with a Y splitter cable, which is convenient, because if you're going to connect this microphone to a PC with ports that have only one function with either audio or microphone input, then you'll need that cable. The microphone itself has a very very simple and straightforward design. On one end, you have the boom microphone with a 3.5mm connector. So basically, in order to use this microphone, you'll have to have a set of headphones which have the option for a 3.5mm detachable cable. Moving along the cable, you have inline controls for the microphone itself, allowing you to mute it or unmute it if you wish to do so. And there is a volume slider as well, so that's convenient. And then at the other end of the cable, you have the other 3.5mm connector, which attaches to the Y splitter cable that allows you to connect it to the PC's microphone and audio jacks at the same time. The cable is braided, so I do like that, but if there was one thing I didn't like, it was that I found the cable to be somewhat short for my needs. I have a long IKEA Lidman desk, and I sit on the opposite side to where my PC is, so I found that the cable was under a little bit of tension since it was fully lengthened out. If the cable was 3 meters or 2.5 meters at least, that would have been perfect. To use the microphone, all I had to do was detach the old 3.5mm audio cable from my Philips SHP 9500s and connect the microphone to that. And that's pretty much it. I now have a fully functioning gaming headset version of the 9500s. The boom mic is sporting an omnidirectional design and is utilizing a steel flexible arm. This is great because it allows you to set the microphone in any position you want depending on how close or far away from your mouth you need it to be. It's also quite sleek, so while using them with my headphones, I never found myself to be distracted by the mic or found it to be obstructive in any manner, and I really do appreciate that. I look at some of those other gaming headsets on the market and I have to tell you, I get concerned because some of them have the most bulkiest mic extruding out. Here that's not the case at all. Now since I've said pretty much everything I wanted to about the microphone itself, I'll show you guys some audio recording tests in just a moment. But before that, I wanted to give you guys a background as to why I wanted this boom microphone in the first place. As my standalone, or discrete microphone, I've been using the Blue Yeti for the past two years. It's an excellent microphone, I do all my voiceovers with it for my videos, and if I'm not completely satisfied with how something turned out, I can perfect it thanks to the power of editing software. However, for VoIP applications like Discord or Skype or even live streaming needs, I can't do that. Now while the Blue Yeti sounds great, it's also a very sensitive microphone. It can pick up a lot of background noises, and I've had friends tell me that I sound like I'm smashing my keyboard or that they can hear outside traffic noises, if I have my window open that is. 
this is why I was looking for a headset solution, one that does a good job at cutting out all those background noises. To show you guys the microphone's audio quality, I will be comparing it against my Blue Yeti and I'll be doing three tests. The first test will be me just talking normally. For the second test, I'll have my window open and a song playing through my phone speaker so I can show you guys how each microphone performs in scenarios where background noise is present. The third test will involve me talking while also typing on my keyboard. Alright, so let's move on to the first test. So for all my tests, I decided to just read a random sentence describing what a GPU is. So here is the Blue Yeti first. The GPU, or Graphics Processing Unit, is a programmable logic chip specialized for display functions. The GPU renders images, animations, and video for the computer's screen. Now with the Vmoda Boom Pro, the GPU, or Graphics Processing Unit, is a programmable logic chip specialized for display functions. The GPU renders images, animations, and video for the computer's screen. Now let's move on to the second test with background noise. Up first is the Blue Yeti. The GPU or graphics processing unit is a programmable logic chip specialized for display functions. The GPU renders images, animations, and video for the computer's screen. Now with the Vmoda Boom Pro, the GPU or graphics processing unit is a programmable logic chip specialized for display functions. The GPU renders images, animations, and video for the computer's screen. And now the third test, which involves me typing. First up is the Blue Yeti. The GPU or graphics processing unit is a programmable logic chip specialized for display functions. The GPU renders images, animations, and video for the computer's screen. Now with the Vmoda Boom Pro, the GPU or graphics processing unit is a programmable logic chip specialized for display functions. The GPU renders images, animations, and video for the computer's screen. And there you guys have it. All the audio clips you heard were not edited at all or had any effects put on them. So for the first test, which just involved the microphones themselves, you can see the clear difference between the Blue Yeti and the Vmoda Boom Pro microphone. The Blue Yeti sounded crisp, clear, and very accurate, whereas the Vmoda sounded a bit flat and not as clear as the v Blue Yeti. However, the audio was good enough to get the job done for something simple like voice chat, for example, through Discord. Also, keep in mind, the Vmoda costs $30 and the Yeti retails anywhere from $120 to $150, so there is a massive difference there in the price. And at a $30 price point, the Vmoda sounded excellent and there's really not much more you can ask for. Now for the second test where I had my window open and music playing in the background, the Vmoda did a better job at isolating my voice against everything else. With the Blue Yeti, traffic noise is present and you can clearly hear the music in the background. With the Vmoda Boom Pro, you can only somewhat hear the music in the background, but it's a lot more subdued. Moving along to the third test, and the difference here is also quite noticeable and more in favor of the Vmoda microphone. With the Blue Yeti, you can probably sympathize with my friends that I do sound like I'm smashing my keyboard. It's just the way I type, I can't help it. But with the Vmoda Boom Pro microphone, you can just barely hear the typing noises, which is excellent. That's just the result I was looking for. So overall, the Vmoda Boom Pro microphone performed great, and I'd say it outperformed the Blue Yeti in two out of the three scenarios. Like I said earlier, it only costs about 30 bucks from Amazon, so if you're interested in finding a solution to transform your favorite pair of headphones into a gaming headset, then I'd say look no further. At this price point, it's hard to beat. I'll have links down below if you want more information about the product, want to buy it for yourself, and want to check out some other great products from Vmoda. I hope you guys found this review to be enjoyable and informative. Let me know your thoughts down below, and if you're interested in seeing more content like this, then make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.